Have you ever tried homemade apple pie? Imagine making a delicious apple pie that's cozy, rich with butter and bursting with yummy tastes. Guess what? I have something really cool for you. Picture yourself slicing into a piece of apple pie you made it at home. The delicious smell spreading all over your kitchen. Get ready as I lead you step by step through a simple guide to make the best apple pie ever. So let's get started. Grab a large bowl. We've got three eggs at room temperature ready for action. Add 200 grams of sugar and mix well together. Now, here comes the secret touch. 10 grams of vanilla sugar. Keep stirring. Add 200 grams of soft room temperature butter and mash it up. For an explosion of flavor, let's zest some lime. We need only the green part. We don't want any bitterness in our mix. And a hint of lemon zest for that extra kick. Now, grab a sieve, hold it over the bowl and add 600 grams of flour and 10 grams of baking powder. Give it a little shake to sieve it in. This will make our battery perfect tender. Mix it in with your spatula and adding more flour. Watch the dough starting to take shape. Bring the rest of the flour and keep kneading. The dough is ready when it's very soft on the surface and with a gentle finger press it sunk easily. This mix is going to be enough for not one but two amazing apple pies. If you are making just one, that's cool. You can wrap the dough in a plastic and keep it in the fridge for a couple of days now, let's talk about the apple filling. It's time for 600 grams of peeled and finely chopped apples, 40 grams of walnuts, 40 grams of cranberries, 150 grams of brown sugar, 3 tablespoons of bread crumbles, and a dish of cinnamon. And now, let's make some magic. Take those diced apples and let's get them party ready in a roomy bowl. Add 100 grams of brown sugar, 3 tablespoons of bread crumbles, some vanilla sugar and a touch of cinnamon. Mix it well up. The aroma is mind-blowing. Bread crumbs are our secret ingredient for a perfect mix. The bread crumbs will bind the entire apple filling. Squeeze a bit of lemon juice and watch the apples start to release their delicious juice. Add in the cranberries and walnuts for the flavor explosion. Sprinkle a bit of flour and give it a good roll with a rolling pin. We are aiming for a thin and even dough. Check if it fits to your pan. Gently place the dough in the pan. Don't panic if it cracks a bit. It's just the butter doing its thing. Trim and tight the edges patching up any cracks. Pour in the incredible apple mixture, spreading it evenly. And from the dough we saved earlier, let's create some decorative strips. You can wave them into a work of art. Wrap a piece of dough around the edges like a little dough hug. Give the pie a gentle egg yolk brush for the perfect golden color. Now, Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Pop your pie in there for 15 minutes and after that decrease the temperature to 180 degrees Celsius and let it bake for another 20 minutes. Or you can put directly to 180 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes with no ventilation. When you remove the pie from the oven, give it a sprinkle of powdered sugar. Your homemade apple pie is officially ready to steal the spotlight. If you are ready as I am, let's dive into this apple pie adventure. Add a scoop of ice cream and some yummy caramel sauce and enjoy. And hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more tasty recipes. Until next time, happy baking!